Ain't no cap infatuated by the height of your mind. Got me rearranging features that you like when you smile. Must protect at all costs, even if she ain't mine. Black women top tier, so she melon and fine. Ain't no cap infatuated by the height of your mind. Hey, hey, y'all. What it is? What it do? I don't even know. I'm starting my video off like that. But hey, hey, y'all. How are y'all doing? It's your girl. You already know. You probably subscribed. You probably not, but what's up? I'm eating bread in the bathroom. You can already tell by the title of this video that um, I'm about to do a hair tutorial. Okay, it's gonna be kind of silent. I don't really wanna talk too much, but I will have the products up on the screen. Now, the style that I will be doing is inspired by this picture right here I found on Pinterest, okay? And I will be doing the front with this, like this, because I cannot braid the front of my head. So I'm gonna make it as easy for myself as possible. I've already taken down um, a part of my hair already. Well, most of my hair from my previous style because I did some bohemian twist and this is what they look like. And um, I wasn't really fond of them just because I don't feel like the style lasted as long as I thought it would. Like synthetic hair does, it tangles. That's what it is. It's gonna do what it do. I don't feel like purchasing human hair for me to keep in a style for less than three months. So I'm gonna do like my regular, my regular Shazam, just different. And I don't know how to do even flat twists, but y'all work with me, either flat twists or a rubber band method. We gonna see. I'll be back. I gotta finish eating my bread. Hey y'all, it's voiceover Donnie. I'm about to tell you guys what you need to begin this hairstyle. You're gonna need water, rubber bands, a rat tail comb, and a crochet hook. For sleekness, I use the Braid Formula Super Hold Conditioning Gel. You can use any edge control gel that you prefer. For slip and moisture, I use the Sleeping Conditioner by Miele. And I'm also using my favorite brand, which is the Expression Spring Afro Twist Pack. Depending on the fullness of your hair, you'll probably need one to two packs of hair, maybe even three. So here I am just beginning to part my hair. You guys can refer back to the picture at the beginning to see exactly what I am referring to. But um, I'm just parting diagonally across my hair. It's kind of going to meet up um, at that beginning line that I started. At the beginning too, I mentioned water, but you also need a water bottle for the water as well. And this is just, you know, to um, create slip if you know your hair is a little bit dry it's just to like make it easier to part um, as well as brush through i will show the way that i twist my hair two times in this video slowed down um, as well as other parts of my hair as well um, but i will have the rest of this sped up This part is a little hard for me to explain, but I'm going to try my best. I am taking my finger and my thumb, my pointed finger and my thumb on both hands, and I am just twisting in one direction, and I'm twisting towards the camera, so kind of like away from me, and it's not a two-strand twist, it's just literally like rolling your hair, and... It's kind of simple. I feel like there's better tutorials out there that may explain this, but just watch and hopefully just watching helps you. Now I'm going to show you guys again that I am parting it alongside diagonally the same way.
I'm using a bit of the braid formula just to smooth down my baby hairs, um, any flyaways as well, and just so that like my twists look super flat and shiny and sleek. I'm also adding a bit of my leave-in conditioner to twist as well. I don't do this for every section, I just forgot I was kind of tired doing my hair late at night. But yeah, it's optional, but I would suggest using it more towards the ends of your hair. At this point, I was kind of feeling myself, seeing how it would look up and everything. I ended up wearing this style majority of the time up. But here I am splitting my hair into two sections. Now in these packs, when you take apart the hair, it's gonna be like a large section. You're just gonna split that into two. You can kind of get like four out of it, depending on your section of hair, but I split them into two for all of my twists. Now I'm just crocheting underneath my rubber band. Um, there's plenty of methods or tutorials on how to crochet, but you're just putting the hook underneath the rubber band and then looping the hair through completely. And then I'm splitting my hair and the braiding hair as well. And I am going to twist towards me using my right hand. Now that is how I remember to twist so that my twists come out in like a perfect coil form. Um, rather than unraveling, I twist with my right hand towards me.
Hey y'all, so it is the next morning. I'm still wearing the same shirt and everything. Um, I started the back of my hair. Y'all, I'm actually not sure like if I'm gonna like this style and stuff, but I did this style so that I'm able to wear it for a, like, a, a certain way or whatever. Um, I think also maybe my like little curls are like possibly throwing me off a little bit, I think. I think I left out too much, but I can always like redo it. Like it doesn't really matter to me too much. Um, but yeah, so I got this. You guys kind of saw how I did this part. It was really like simple. Um, and then you guys saw like crocheted twist into here. And then I'm just working on the back so that I can pull it up. Now, my undercut is a little dusty crusty. I'm going to part it off because I know that some of my hair might be going in there. But, like, this is also great for, like, a ponytail style. Like, nice and elegant and shit. And if you do want something that's quick and not, like, your whole head of twist. Because I still have, like, two packs of hair. And I honestly think with those two packs of hair, I'm going to get this done. So, I'm going to show you guys how I start doing the back of my head. So yeah, look at how long my twist are, y'all. So my hair was already sectioned off, so this method is pretty much the same as how I did the front. I'm going to start by taking my crochet hook and placing it underneath my hair in the rubber band, looping the braiding hair through and separating my hair, and making sure the braiding hair is separated too into two sections so that I'm able to begin twisting. So here I'm repeating the process, looping my hook under, pulling the hair through, and then separating my hair and going directly into the twist. Now there are a few methods to installing twist. You can do what I'm doing um, using the rubber band method. You can use the rubber band and start off by braiding your hair and then twisting it. Or you can just braid it without the rubber band and then go into a twist. Now for me, I like the extra security so I always use a rubber band because I'm not a professional braider. So I haven't mastered yet how to, you know, get my twist from slipping out. I will say that this was a really fun style for me to do and super creative and an easy way to get a style that I really wanted and seen everybody do without spending money on having someone else do my hair. I've seen a lot of people, you know, braid the fronts of their hair and have the rest like as braids and everything and I thought it was really pretty. So I recommend this for anyone who doesn't know how to braid or doing it on a kid's hair, you know, it's low tension in the front of your hair. Um, and it's really easy to like maintain and redo if you need to refresh in the style. Hey y'all, I'm I'm about to get myself together in a little bit because my face is like greasy from product and sweat. Okay, I've been getting hot in my sleep and stuff. 
and I realized it's because I have my undercut. I'm not used to having hair back here. So I'm gonna go get this cut, hopefully today, so then I can wear this style um, immediately up. As y'all can see my little hair coming out right there. And then a little gel came fixed. Um, I think it came out pretty good. I'm not, I'm not liking this part, but it's okay. I think though, I did a pretty good job for my first time doing this style. Um, you want to go for it? Go for it. Do it. I think it's really cute. Now, um, I'm going to show you guys like three styles I'm kind of thinking of so far. So, first one is just a little bit to the side. If you want that look. It does look a little odd, but like, I kind of like it actually. I don't think it does. I think it just... It looks a little different. And then I'm also going to add beads. I'm not going to do the beads on camera because I think we all know how to put on beads. I just use my crochet thing because the plastic bead thingies or whatever, those always break for me. So, yeah. And then, of course, it being like straight up or like high ponytail or something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So y'all can see it in its full. Glory. Boom. See, if I, had, I didn't have the undercut, it would be bomb. Okay. And then my last one, I really want to try. Get a clip. And just take this hair. And you go just like that. Hold on. Of course, it'd be like lower or whatever. But yeah, that's one of them. 